Welcome back, Captains. This is the Dunlawton Boat Ramp. If you haven't been here before, you might be new. I want you to hit that subscribe button and that like button if you got a second. But in the meantime, I want you to pay attention to this jet ski that's over here in this little circle. One of them's occupied, the other one's floating away from the dock. Now the guy that had that jet ski went to go pick up the trailer there, and I think his little three foot line came undone from the handlebars. Now she's going to make some attempts to grab this thing here, but they're going to be unsuccessful, unfortunately. It's pretty hard to do anything on a jet ski, especially when you got to lean over and kind of lasso this thing in. They're just always at arm's length reach. Well, she starts circling this thing here like a turkey buzzard, and the only thing's dead is this thing dead on the water. A little bit of panic sets in there and he comes back over the trailer and here he goes. Drops his glasses and watch this form. Whee! He uses his hat as an oar and gets over there. Now these people over here, they look back, give me that smile. Welcome to Credit Card Captain. Well, there's ski number one. Let's see where the other one is. I hope he brought his lanyard. And there he is. All right, he saved it. Now he's one of the regulars around here. He's a pretty cool guy. He's been featured in another couple of videos as well. And that's them little elastic lines that I'm talking about. They don't tie to anything. They usually just wrap around the handlebar. And with hope and a prayer, they stay on. Well, there you go. Safe and sound. I think. Well, it's always fun when you can bring your cats down to the boat ramp and get them on the boat. No, I'm just kidding. That's a cute little pup right there. And these guys are fans. I want to thank you guys for watching. I'm sorry I didn't catch you when you were going out and give you some merch for the little one in there. But that's a nice boat. Now, I think the wife is backing it in. And he says, come on back. That's good right there. He pulls out and does it right. Gives a little wave on the way out there. You can see the little junior captain in there doing that. When they got back, they got him a keychain. Look at the cat. I mean the dog. That's a cute pup. Well, since it's slow and everything's been quiet around here because the afternoon thunderstorms, let's jump down to New Smyrna boat ramp. This is another boat ramp that's right in the area and real good. There it is. He's just a bit outside, and the trailer master gives him the finger, tells him go over that way just a little bit. He gets it lined up on them bunks, which is good. He gives a little thrust of throttle right there, and come on in. Now Trailer Master gives them the symbol for 3 feet, 2 feet, 8 inches, right there. Now a guy's measurement scale is always off. It's been known throughout history for it to be like that. We don't know why. Well, Skeeter Steve over here decides he's going to punch it in the no-wake zone and ride this thing. But instantly he lets off the throttle there. I think I saw 
it might be a little bit too much for him to handle. Don't forget, it's a no-wake zone in here. There's dolphins, turtles, people, all kinds of stuff. Well, if you wanted to know how to do it right, this might be the way to do it. He gets his form set up here on the bow of the boat. Takes that nice even step off into the dock there. And the captain backs it on up. Pretty simple and easy. Then you go get your trailer. How about turbo whistle over here? Listen to this thing. It was nice and quiet over here, peaceful. You could hear the birds sing. Now it sounds like an F-18 landed here to pull the trailer out. They give him the thumbs up. She gives me the peace sign. I love it. Welcome to Credit Card Captain. That's a nice trophy you got there. Oh, there he goes. Nice and easy. Stuffs it right in there. And he puts the tip right in there. Apparently it's not good enough. Well, they're backing up and they're going forward and I think this is the wrong way to do it. Yeah, he's going backwards. I thought he had some bow thrusters there, but I don't know. There it is. Bottom drops out on it. Now, I think he's just teasing, going back and forth like that. Best thing to do here, if you're new to these boating things, is go down there and latch it like he's doing. And don't put the trailer in so deep. This way, the friction from the bunks will hold you up there. Not bad, though. Listen to Turbo Whistle pull this thing out. I thought we were at the tractor poles here for a minute. That thing's got some... Sp Whoa. I think the captain realized he needs to get down there and just winch this thing on. He's deep enough. Maybe too deep. And that's what caused that. Turbo Whistle. Now I think I got me a couple videos coming up where you can see me do this same stuff and then you can make fun of me. I'm going to be doing a backing video, a launching and retrieving video. Make it easy for you. I get the trolls in the comments every once in a while. Why don't you get out there and show us how to do it? Alright. I'll probably screw up too. Yeah, don't get too cocky. Damn, shot me in the eye with some bait. Toss him one of them keychains. He's got some good catch skills. I like that. I hope that wasn't the only thing they caught, but I doubt it. Looks like they know what they're doing out there.
He unravels that thing like my kids unravel toilet paper. Every time I hear him in the bathroom, all I hear is brrrr. There it is, right in there. That's a nice boat too, I like that. A little 22 foot. It's bigger than my boat. I got an 18 foot. It's easy, kids like it, wife likes it. It makes it easy to clean up too. How nice and pretty it is here in the lagoon. Well, let's jump over to this one here. It's about time for me to go when I see someone else taking another bike out here, because I imagine the cops are going to be coming soon. Not saying he stole that bike, but that's a universal symbol for a bike being stolen. I jump back over the Dunlop and boat ramp over here and watch these things come in. The clouds are moving in. So I decided it's time for me to get shelter too. I hate getting rained on. Well, one of my favorite meals is fish. I have a few favorite restaurants in the area here, but they're not sponsored, so they don't get mentioned. But one of my favorite delicacies out here on the water, a sun ripened filet. No ice, nothing like that. Just hang that there, show everybody what you got. And when you get home, you wonder why it tastes like <coughs> coal. Well, they get that thing settled there on the trailer right there. I mean, that's a nice catch. I ain't gonna lie. I don't think I've ever caught a fish that big. Decent retrieval right there. And let's take a look at this fish and see what they got. I think it's a kingfish. I can't really tell. I'm not that good with identifying fish. It's got to be that. He gives me the deuces, and that might be what you'd be doing after you eat that fish if it's been hanging up there for a while. Not bad. Nice catch. Welcome to Credit Card Captain. Well, on this rainy day, everybody decided to get in before the storm came, so it was all in all a good day out there. I want to leave you guys with some lightning storms here with some ASMR. I think you might like it. But I want to say thank you for watching, liking, and subscribing. If you want to check out some of the merch you got, I got those keychains, stickers, and shirts. I'll put a link in the description. And if you see me out there, I might have some left over on me. So come up and say hi. so stupid. Okay.